Hey, this is Gary Kay, and I have a special guest today, Eric Olson from Almo. He is the AV over IP guru at Almo Pro AV. Eric, how are you? Hey, Gary. Good. Thanks for having me on today. Hey, thanks for being on. And, you know, it, you know we're talking. I wanted you to come on real quick because I want to talk about the webinar I'm doing this Tuesday at 2 p.m., uh, 11 uh, Pacific time. Uh, it's called the Ultimate Reality Check, an AV over IP webinar. And it's an update. About half the content is the same as the, the AV over IP session I did for you about a year ago. The other half is sort of an update. I've added in um, the Ames Alliance standard. I've added in SMPTE 2110. I've added in um, some of the other ecosystems that have appeared, right? You have uh, HD base T moving into AV over IP. We have um, you know, sort of the impact of uh, NTI. We, have, uh, we also have um, some new companies that have gotten into the AV over IP space, but we also have an industry that is filled with a whole bunch of confusing, op confusing options out there. And I know that's made it hard on you too, as a company, because there are so many options and there isn't a standard yet. That is correct, Gary. Yeah. And I just want to say I've attended uh, many of your keynotes on AV over IP as you've, you've been our exclusive keynote presenter at all of our A4 events. And they've always been fantastic and they've always been well attended and well received. But what I like most about it is that you don't, you cut right through the BS and you, and you go right to the, the real, you know, the real meat and potatoes of what AV over IP is. And we talk about the adoption rates and with it being 2020 and knowing how you've grafted out um, the progression of adoption, I'm really looking forward to seeing the next few years, how this develops when a standard is put in place. Well, I'll tell you, I'll be the first to admit I was wrong because I thought the adoption would be faster. But what happened was when we surveyed the integrators, they're confused. Uh, the big three companies are all using different uh, AV over IP standards. The next tier are all using AV, different AV over IP systems. We even have some manufacturers that are using two or more different ways of sending AV over IP. You know, you have ZV is a company that you have, at Lone is a company you have, where they're using multiple AV over IP methodologies because they want to make sure they hit the customers regardless of where they are. And I think what's happened is, to me, it seems like it has created a little bit of confusion. And the idea behind this webinar is to sort of cut through some of that confu confusion and sort of, I guess, put you on a track of at least having the knowledge base to pick the right ecosystem for your approach. So I'm going to focus it on applications. I don't know what you think about that. Because I know that y'all have, uh, let's see, you have Atlona. Actually, by the way, Atlona is sponsoring this. You have uh, ZV, you have Aten, you have um, the SDV Alliance has been, you have Netgear, you handle Netgear, you handle uh, D-Link as a brand. Uh, who am I missing? Because I'm sure you have other AV over IP lines. We have Christy Terra products as well yeah. for the oh, yeah. SDV that we remember, um, Kramer as well. Kramer. They're also and there's the a good example. Kramer's got three different ways of doing AV over IP. They're a good example of a company that's got three different things going on over there. Yeah, and what I think is happening is, is that many of the manufacturers are trying to hit on some of the points of either the budget of the project, the network infrastructure that they could fit their product within. What I think really needs to set this tone, and I just wrote a blog about this recently that's on almoproav.com oh, um, about why now is the right time to really get into AV over IP, at least become familiar with the technology but it talks about you know, some of the SDVOE parts where they're making it easier than ever to implement because you don't need an IT guy on staff. They've yeah. got partners that have the stuff pre-configured built into the switches and regardless of the platform or the manufacturer, they're going to have to implement multicast, IGMP and VLANs on those networks. Yeah, and, and, and we're gonna cover all of that and I'm gonna get you on a path for understanding like right now, post COVID, this is gonna be the biggest time a great opportunity for you to get in AV over IP because moving content across the network rather than physically going to rooms and fixing and helping and supporting people is going to be the future of everything in AV. And in fact, I think AV as a service is going to explode and you can't do AV as a service without AV over IP. It just can't be done. So this, this, this webinar, as you can, you can link on the description or wherever you're watching this right now and take you directly to registering uh, for this webinar at 2 p.m. on Tuesday, you can go to almoproev.com, click on education, click on webinars, and you can register right there. Uh, registration will be open until right before we, we do the event. And Eric, I'll see you online on Tuesday. Thank you. That sounds great, Gary. Don't forget, we got a CTSRU associated with this oh, yeah. as well. 
So yeah, please right. jump in if you guys need the credits. Uh, I know and a lot get, of people at home. You get I and D too. Yes, correct. CTS yep. I N D one credit. And as long as you guys are working from home, we'd love to have you on there. It would be a pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Y'all have a great day.